Hey guys, it's Sharon. I just wanted to show you a brief tour of the software for QKids. Um, this first tab up here is your schedule. So um, it goes by day and it tells you what classes you teach. Let's go back to today. So today I taught a standby. I was scheduled for a standby at 520. Um, I ended up getting assigned the standby. So it was L1, which is a lower level. Uh, lesson number six, so I had very new students. Um, when I get back on here in a little bit, um, I will have um, an L3 lesson. So it's a little higher uh, advanced students. They've went through probably, goodness, 20 or 40 lessons already. So they should be pretty good. Um, you can teach anywhere from one to six kids. Um, the amount of students that you teach is randomly assigned, so you have no choice over that. If you have like six kids, your class is gonna fly by. Um, four kids I think is like the best because it's much more well balanced and you have a little more time to um, really spend on details. If you have one or two, um, if they're lower level, Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle because they don't know English that well, and so you're trying to get information out of them, um, or they're just shy because it's new to them, but I don't mind. I don't mind if it's one or six. I don't care. It's fine. Um, second tab is Billing Center. So your Billing Center, um, it shows you how much money you've made for the month. Your income detail breaks down all your payments. Your lesson detail tab uh, shows your weekly rating. A minute ago I was at 483, now I'm at 478 because the class um, just got uploaded and the parents haven't rated it yet. So um, I missed a class yesterday. You can see I have an absence there. Um, but after I teach my next class, then I'll have a weekly attendance score, excuse me, of two. Um, and the reason it's only showing one is because even though I finished two classes uh, today and yesterday, this actually, the absence, takes away a point. So um, it's, it's not a big deal. So payment tab is all your payments. We just switched software um, back in like October, November-ish. Um, and so I got moved to the new software. Um, so in this software, I've only been paid three times so far, but in the old G series, I had a few more payments there. So this isn't everything I've made with QKids. It's only with this particular software. Bank account, that's just how you get paid. When I first started, I was doing a prepaid card, direct deposit to that. Um, they do pay through direct deposit only. Um, and you can use a prepaid card or an actual bank. I've tried both and they both work fine but I did switch over to my regular bank. Um, the third tab is a training tab. So if you get assigned training, um, and some of them just everyone has, like this one's really cool because it shows you how to actually work the games. Any of them that say self-study, it's going to show you actual examples and it's really cool. Um, oh, that's a PDF. Let me show you the one with video because it's a lot better. I want to be shown. I don't want to read. <laughs> so anyway, this shows you um, how to do this particular bingo game. And they have their stuffed animals down here um, for an example of students. Um, it just tells you like how to do the game, what you click. Um, and over here on the right hand side, you'll see reference. And it actually gives you um, detailed information generally about if you have questions like how to play the game, make sure you do this. Um, also, you can't see it here, but up in the top right, um, in the blue area where it says bingo game, but up in the corner, we now have a light bulb there that if you click on that, it gives you actually very, very detailed information on how to work each game. Um, and that's super helpful. This fourth tab here, uh, is if you have any problems 
It's a live chat box. You can talk to someone at QKids, so it's very helpful. You can see this first one here. Yesterday was just letting me know, hey, you missed your class. And I did. I got up a little bit late, which is horrible. Um, so sorry you just missed it. Reach us if you need help. No problem. Um, they don't get too upset as long as you don't abuse the policy because then it would become a problem. Um, this is today. I was a standby, as I said. So um, a couple minutes before the class started, it said, hey, you're assigned to the standby. So you can either go directly into the class or you can press a uh, more information button. I had pressed more information to see what the class details were about. And while I was reading, they said, hey, get in the classroom. Um, and I had just logged in when I got the second notice. So no biggie. Okay, so um, first tab, class schedule, billing center, training tab, and the report button or the live chat button. So that's pretty much it. Super easy to navigate. Very, very easy. Um, if you, like when I get my class, I'm not going to click now because there could be students in there. But let's just click the top one just very, very briefly. If you look here, it tells you the objectives of um, the lesson, what your vocabulary words are, and what activities you're going to be going through. Um, there are 10 slides to each one. I won't go through this class uh, right now because I have to get ready to go in my next class. But you have 10 slides. This is your introduction where you're talking to your students before class. Uh, this is um, just telling you about the class. This is your new words, what your words for the day are. Uh, test your vocabulary. That's another game I'll show you later. This is another game also where you click and you have them match you and um, this is counting so you just play a game with them and I'll show you that later too this is a cartoon that you watch with them you have how many monkeys can you see you have them watch all the slides One monkey. watch all the slides and then you're gonna go through it with them um, and you basically tell them to listen and then repeat and you'll click the sentence and you'll have them repeat the sentence to learn. Uh, the next one is um, a game where it just randomly uh, clicks on a, um, I'm running behind, um, where it spins, I'll show you real quick, it spins and the student will, you'll say how many markers do you see? Five mark, and they'll say five you'll say yes five markers so easy um, then you have a, another game here so basically 10 different slides um, this is actually a test they have to take at the end to make sure they comprehended the information after the test you'll do a summary and say okay guys today we learned about blah 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 blah, blah. then you'll go to the le leaderboard um, which is the very last slide you have to make sure you taught 30 minutes before you can go to the slide. That's like super important. Um, and then you'll put each student up on the screen and show like talk about how many diamonds they got and be like, oh, good job today. Um, there are filters. Once they're, it's kind of like um, Instagram or Snapchat. You put their face up here um, and you can give them a mask. And when the student moves, the little cartoon will move too. Or you can put just a mask on their face. If, if Let me show you real quick. Ugh. Okay, so this is me. And I'm going to put on a bunny ears. Oh, I'm a bunny. And you just play with them and kind of congratulate them at the end. And they love it. You can give them trophies. Oh, so good. Good job today, Sharon. Very nice. And so anyway, they love it. Um, so that's all I got today, guys. I hope this kind of helped giving you a brief tour. And I appreciate you watching. And, I'll look, and I'm looking forward to talking to you later. Okay? I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Bye.